So now, uh, we would like to introduce our today's main guest speaker, His Grace Amoglila Prabhu. His Grace Amoglila Prabhu was known as Ashish Arora, was born in Lucknow and then he was very much in search of God. After finishing his 12th standard, he ran away from his home for few months in search of God. He did come back, he completed his software engineering also, but he was reading different, different Bhagavad Gita's. And he read the Bhagavad Gita of Srila Prabhupada. And that time he saw how simply the message of Bhagavad Gita has been presented by Srila Prabhupada. He thought, maybe this person is God. He developed so much intense faith and he then joined ISKCON in 2010. But before that, he was a software engineer worked at HP USA, HP Software Engineering Company and HCL. He was uh, and he is directing so many youths across India, especially in Dwarka. He is a Vice President of Dwarka Iskon Temple, New Delhi. He is also a guest faculty member at IIM Ahmedabad, co-faculty and IIT Patna. He has been also a guest speaker at IIT Bhuvaneshwar and many such IITs. He is going to NIT Suratkal, the best engineering college in Karnataka, just on 30th November this month end. He is also a corporate trainer. I see many of them are corporate students, I came to know and also a lifestyle counsellor for students, families and industries worldwide, designer of many Vedic courses like Ashray program and a famous celebrity on YouTube with a following of 1.5 million. He has almost 1248 videos uploaded already and we are very fortunate to be enlightened. He is a very good MC and I am feeling inferior complex in front of him. So without taking much time, I would like to heartily invite His Grace Amoglila Prabhu. Hey. Hare Krishna. Can you hear me? Is it having echo? Yeah? When echo is high, ego is high, you cannot listen. So is this clear or shall I use that mic which is being used by the MC? Because this kind of structure, it inspires more echo. So can you hear me clearly? I cannot see much of yes in your yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for inviting me here. Uh, ICC, that means ISKCON Cultural Center, which is in Kumaraswami layout. Who has been to this temple, Kumaraswami layout, ICC temple? Okay, wonderful, great, happy to know that. So, before I begin, one question to all of you. Should we have some goal in life or not? Right? Absolutely. We should have some goal in life. In case there is a football match, on the both the sides there is no goal post. The entire match would be meaningless, right? So there has to be goal and then life becomes meaningful. Now next question to all of you. Do we have same goal or do we have different goals? Yeah, obviously you have got different goals. Who believes that we have got different goals? Raise your hand. All of you, intelligent people. Right. Okay, if I ask somebody, whom should I ask? Uh, okay, you in pink kurta. Okay, what is your goal in life? What do you want to become? 
What is your goal? Well, I want to become a scientist, but I also. Uh, you want, want to become to... a scientist? Yes. Very good, nice. But I also want to find Krishna. So. So, what will you get by becoming a scientist? Well, I can try to understand nature in a better way. Okay. So, you'll See understand you. nature by being scientist. So, by understanding nature and by getting knowledge about nature, what will you get? Understanding about me, how You I'm understood done. yourself, very yeah. nice. By getting to know about yourself, what will you get? Mm. What will you get? I'll know who I am truly. Yes, you know about yourself, but what will you get by that? Okay, he's still thinking. Let me ask somebody else. Let's hear from someone. Yeah, the person is full. I will, be, I will, I will die peacefully. That I have spent a good life. You will die peacefully. <laughs> Wonderful. What about living peacefully? Okay, by being peaceful, what do you experience? Mm -hmm. You are happy, right? Yeah, I achieved. That's wonderful. Okay, let's hear from some girl. Okay, what's your goal in life? She wants to be a cheater. <laughs> teacher. Oh, teacher. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, all right. So by being a, a cheater, sorry, teacher. <laughs> What will you become then? What will happen? I feel that is the guiding, uh, he, uh, the teacher is the guiding person, so I oh, want to be so that. You become, so you become the GPS for society, guiding. Exactly. Nice. So by becoming a guiding principle for society, what will you get? I would feel that I've contributed something in my life. So when you feel that you are contributing, what do you feel? Proud about it. When you feel proud, what do you experience? Happiness. Great. Can you see all the stories ultimately come down to what, which word? Come down to which word? Happiness. So externally we may say that we have got different goals, but we do not have different goals. We all have got same goal in life. That is to be happy. Yes. Those who came today here and they're sitting here, the goal is happiness. And those who chose not to be here, their goal is also happiness. They thought, you know, koi ganja aayega, Delhi se pakaega, humko chodo yaar. Let's be outside, have fun, man, we'll be happy. And those who are sitting here, their goal is also happiness. And those who chose not to be here, their goal is also happiness. Because whatever we do, we do it for this single goal. That is to be happy. Even if somebody chooses to be an engineer, what do you want to be an engineer? I'll make a lot of money. And by that money, what will you do? I'll have fun. I'll purchase things. Okay, then by that, what will happen? I'll be happy. What do you want to become? Well, I want to get married. Why do you want to get married? Well, I have a beautiful wife. Then what do you do with a beautiful wife? I'll be happy. She'll give me nice dosa, vada, sambar, yay. I'll be happy. So whatever we do, whether we do shopping, window shopping, we get married, we get salary, whatever we do, the goal is same. And that is to be happy. So we do not have got different goals. We all have got single goal, same goal. And that is to be happy. Yes. So that was the first funda which got cleared that we all have single goal that is happiness in fact you will see entire advertisement industry they only advertise happiness coca-cola open happiness oh so entire happiness in that soda wala brown color liquid is it like that open happiness i saw advertisements of advertisement of cadbury's and there's one girl and she's having cadbury's and there's chocolatey burst and then the chocolate is coming from the mouth, the eyes and the ears and then Cadbury's ka chocolatey luxurious explosion. So by looking at this poster of Cadbury's, what message do you get? By having Cadbury's, I will be happy. Yes. I saw one advertisement of Mahindra Zylo. You know Mahindra Zylo? There are few ladies with mini skirt. 
on front seat, few girls on mini skirt on the back seat, and few girls with mini skirt on the top of it. And beneath it was written, Mahindra Zylo. So what's the message Mahindra Zylo is giving? By having Mahindra Zylo, you will get happiness. See some happiness is sitting on the front seat, some happiness is sitting on the back seat, some sitting, some happiness on the top of Mahindra Zylo. You will be happy by having Mahindra Zylo. Once I was in railway station, there was advertisement of um, Binani cement, Sadiyon ke liye. And there is one girl, she emerges from the ocean and she is holding Binani cement. And she says, Binani cement, Sadiyon ke liye. Now logically speaking, can there be a factory of Binani cement underneath ocean? Can workers with this uh, swimsuit deliver Binani cement? Logically makes sense? It does not make sense at all. But Binani cement also knows that people do not need our cement. They need happiness. So advertise happiness and along with that sell Binani cement, Mahindra Zylo, Cadbury's. But we do not know anything of this world. We only want one thing in life. That is to be happy. Yes. Okay, now one more. Now this is better. Huh? Thank you very much. <clears throat> so this equation, you have to tell me true or false. Happiness is equal to physical comforts. True or false? Who agrees true? Raise your hand. Okay, who says false? Raise your hand. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, who is confused? Raise your hand. Okay, who is, please, who is confused whether you are confused or not? Raise your hand. Okay, good. So physical comforts is equal to happiness is false. But usually we believe that physical comforts is happiness. If I've got digital Dolby surround sound, I've got a comfortable sitting, I'm having a luxurious car, and that's happiness. If I got A1 quality mobile phone with best of the applications, best of the hardware, I will be happy. Things give us happiness. In case you have the best of the things, then you are happy. But is it really like that? Is it really? No. Like, for example, if I ask, Mataji, what do you like to eat the most? Which is your favorite? Which gives you happiness? What is that which you like to eat? Pani Puri. Very good. Same choice. Pani Puri. So Mataji, if I give you 20 Pani Puris, will you be happy? Yes. Of course. But then I give 40 more Pani Puris to her. And with her Guinness Book of World Record wala digestive power, she would digest even 40 Pani Puris. And then I give 50 Pani Puris to Mataji. And then she would also take that as well. And then I give 100 Pani Puris to Mataji. So Mataji, what is the food you hate the most after that? Pani Puri. Ki Prabhuji, now anything but not Pani Puri. If things are going to give us happiness, then things should give me happiness forever. But do they keep on giving us happiness forever? No. After some time we are done. We are just pissed off. Ah, that's it. So things do not give us happiness. We think that things are going to give us happiness. I remember during my college days in, my, in our canteen. Is my boss clear? I hope it is not very, it's not hurting you, right? In my college days, uh, in our canteen, chola, batura, sprite, killing combination. Killer combination and killing combination. So as we were sitting in our college, so one of my friends came, Hey, bhaiyo, result nikal aya. Result. I said, yeah, first of all, artificial intelligence clear or not? Because artificial intelligence, my God, so many algorithms, flowcharts, oof. 
So I asked him, did I pass in artificial intelligence? He said, yeah, passed. And then my friend, who was having chola, bhatura and sprite. Spicy chole, crispy bhature and a refreshing sprite. Wow. So my friend, and then he asked, hey, main pass hua ke nahi hua? did I pass or not? That means in three, you failed. Now you being final year, you know, fourth year is the final year and then you do not pass. That means your four years graduation becomes five years degree. She said, no, you could not, including artificial intelligence. Gone. She said, are, mar gaya, are. now I'll be dead. I said, dead? What do you mean? You know, my father told me, if you'll not complete your graduation timely, I will shoot you. I told Are Baba, father says like that, but none of the father shoots the son. It's okay. He said, no, you do not know. He's a jat. He has got seven sons. If he kill one, So I said, well, when father will kill you, kill you. You should have chola, batura and sprite. Enjoy. He said, no, no, now my father will kill me. And he got up and he left the place. Now, did the crispy nature of batura reduce? No. Spicy nature of chole reduce? No. Refreshing nature of sprite reduce? No. Everything is same. Yet, it is not giving any pleasure to the person. So we think that things give us pleasure, but not really. But in this world, you see people are chasing after things only. Okay, now one more question to all of you. Where do we spend more time on? Pleasure or quest for pleasure? Pleasure, then raise your hand. Pleasure. Okay, then quest for pleasure. Okay, who's confused? Yeah, we spend more time in quest for pleasure. A typical person is a middle class person. He gets a flat, say it is for one crore. He has got 50 lakh rupees. Now 50 lakh rupees, he will take the rest of 50 lakhs from the, as a bank loan. Now in order to pay this bank loan, he will work very hard, go to office, 12 hours of working, heavy traffic, politics and this and that, so that he can get the money to pay for the house in which he goes just to sleep. And after 20 years, this house belongs to me. And by that time, I become so old enough. <laughs> now this is my house. <laughs> so more time is spent in quest for pleasure. Like during college days, if you see, we spend more time, people are you know, discussing about girls. Who is that beautiful girl? Oh, yeah. what, what's her name? Jasmine. Wow, what a fragrant name. But there is so much of discussion about girls among the boys and so much of discussion about the boys among the girls. But there's more of quest. But how many of quest of, of them they get fulfilled? None. Hardly any. There was a guy, he was calling out, Lala! Lala! So one person said, hey, excuse me, what happened to you? Why are you calling out Lala, Lala? He said, actually, my girlfriend's name is Lala. She left me. Where does she stay? She stays in uh, Kumara Swami layout. Okay, I'll bring her back, man. So he went and brought the girlfriend back. This is your Lala? Yes, yeah, she's my Lala. He got them married. Now you not sh uh, shout Lala, Lala? He said, yeah, of course, now I'll not. I got my Lala. So he got married and then settled. So after a few months, again the same guy, when he came, that person was calling out, Lala! Lala! He said, now why are you calling? Lala, Lala. Did she run away again? And no, she's sitting inside. Then why are you calling out? Lala, Lala, why? He said, no, I'm not saying Lala, Lala. I'm saying Lala! 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 Please, take her. I'm done. So often we see that there is quest for pleasure. In this quest, then there is hankering and hankering and then lamentation. Hankering, lamentation. Lamentation, hankering. 
Many of the girls, they go for the boys, handsome looking, good looking boys, little, oh my God. All handsome, good looking boys are flirtatious. They flirt. They know I'm so good looking, man. I should flirt with one, two, three, four. Dil kabutar khana hai. Har kisi ka ana jana hai. Yeah. This happens. So that's why we see that we spend more time in quest for pleasure than the pleasure itself. Okay, now one, now one more question. Happiness is equals to absence of pain, true or false? Happiness is equals to absence of pain, true, raise your hand. Now the questions are a little more technical. Huh? Happiness is equals to absence of pain, true or false? True? Okay, false. Okay, now there are more people who are confused because Amogila Prabhu doesn't ask simple questions. He has got some twist and turn into it. Ah. So happiness is equal to absence of pain. True or false? True? Raise your hand. Okay, absence of pain because there is no pain, so I'm happy. Right? Is it like that? Like Napoleon, what he used to do? He would take his prisoners and dump their head inside a dirty, stinky pool of liquid. Napoleon. And then those who are now, their head is inside this dirty, stinky pool and they are suffocated. For 45 seconds, for one minute, and then would allow the person to breathe. And then again taking the head inside. This is how he would punish the prisoners. Yeah. Now, when the head is inside this dirty, stinky pool, this head is inside dirty, stinky pool, it is misery. But now, when he releases the head so that he can breathe, this is absence of that misery. So this is happiness. Or false. How many of you would like that I may bless you, that you may have similar kind of happiness? <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah, fine, man. <laughs> when are the holidays starting? <laughs> how many of you want such a blessing from me? I can bless you. Is that really happiness? No. But we perceive absence of misery as happiness, but actually it is not happiness. See, for example, you're going for an office, about to leave for the office, and you receive a call from the office. Sir, actually there is a strike today. So office, off. Really? Wow! And then you think that this is happiness. But actually it is not happiness. It is the absence of pain of going to the office and traffic and this and that and office politics and competition and enviousness and coming back. I got relieved from that misery and that is perceived as, as happiness. But actually that is not happiness. Okay, now next question. Happiness is equal to forgetfulness of pain. I repeat, happiness is equal to forgetfulness of pain. Previous equation was, happiness is equal to absence of pain. Now this one is, happiness is equal to forgetfulness of pain. True or false? True, raise your hand. Okay, false, raise your hand. Okay, now more people are confused. Huh? Yes. So happiness is equal to forgetfulness of pain. Is that really happiness? Then all those who are sitting and drinking wine, we should consider them happy. Because people say, hey, do peg laga yaar, sab bhool jayega. Teri girlfriend ka dukh, teri boyfriend ka dukh, teri pati ka dukh, teri patni ka dukh, sab bhool jayega re tu. Do peg laga, set. So are people who drink wine, are they happy because they forgot pain? Are they happy? Not really. 
Like once there was a person, he was about, he, he went for hunting. And as he was about to do hunting, he became little inattentive. And as he became little inattentive, the tiger from backside pounced upon him. And he just got saved. But the gun slipped out of his hand and he started running. Tiger was also running. He ran faster. And tiger was also running faster. And then immediately he just climbed the tree and he was hanging on the branch of the tree. <sighs> now tiger is there. Ah! About to devour him. Ready to have a feast. Sunday love feast. So now he was hanging as he was hanging there. And then came two mice. One was black, one was white. And they started eating the branch. And then he could see, oh, from where they came these two mice? Oh, God! Oh, no! And as he said, oh, no! Something came to his mouth. And that was honey. Pure honey. Because he was beehive right on the top. And it was so angled, it was so placed, that every five seconds, honey, pure honey, not dabar ka nakli honey, asli honey. Every five seconds, now pause to the story. This story has happy ending or sad ending? Who says that this is this story has sad ending? Raise your hand. Okay, who believes that this has got happy ending? It's not had a happy ending. It is a happy ending for the tiger. <laughs> now what happened? As he was hanging at that time, he just forgot. He forgot that these two mice are eating my branch in which I am hanging and I can now fall down and tiger will eat me he forgot his misery he forgot his pain so is that happiness? is that happiness? no so sometimes it appears that by forgetting the pain we are happy but we are somewhere we are self hallucinating ourselves to tell us that actually I am happy but actually we are not happy okay now one more question to all of you true or false in order to experience happiness it's a prerequisite that I must experience distress true or false true raise your hand sukh ka anubhav karne ke liye dukh ka anubhav karna zaruri hai in order to experience happiness, I must experience distress. Oh my god, 90% people, huh? Smart. Ajah, who says it is false? Few. But most of you believe that in order to experience happiness, it's a prerequisite that I must experience distress. Who has ever experienced drinking a mango shake? Who has enjoyed mango shake? When we go to the shop, we go for a mango shake. Bhaiya, a glass bada wala mango shake. We go for mango shake, right? But before going for mango shake, do we ask for karela juice? That bhaiya, pehle do karele ka juice. And then mango shake is delicious. But if you take the mango shake directly, strange. It, is, it doesn't sound very tasty, right? When we take mango shake straight away, it doesn't sound so tasty. But when we go for karela juice, and then we take mango shake, then mango shake is tasty, right? No. We don't go to mango shake wala pizza. Bhaiya, karele ka juice pilao gale. Do we do that? No. But we just mentioned that in order to experience happiness, I must experience distress. Oh, mango shake ka swal dene se pehle, 
करेले का जूस पीना जरूरी है जरूरी है नहीं ओ एक्सीडेंट हो गया रब्बा रब्बा 95% फाइव पर्सन ऑफ पीपल हेयर इज एट यस इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सपीरियंस हैप्पीनेस इट्स अ प्री रिक्वेस्ट दैट वी मस्ट एक्सपीरियंस डिस्ट्रेस बट डू वी रियली डू दैट वेन वी टेक मैंगो शेक नो बट वाई इज दैट नॉट जस्ट यू एनी वेयर आई गो नाइंटी परसेंट नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट पीपल नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट पीपल दे से येस दिस इज ट्रू वाई इज दैट सो Okay I repeat my sentence you have to tell me which word I am using twice In order to experience happiness I must experience distress Yes smart people Experience is used twice Reason being in this world most of the people they learn by Mr experience We learn by experience and experience is a very costly teacher it's a very costly teacher who believes that mr experience is very costly teacher sometimes as a tuition fee it takes entire life and we are stuck the phas gaye yaar samajh mein aa gaya ye mamla kya hai i understood this but the tuition fee is way too high sometimes years and some of the cases you are stuck for life are bhai ab to phas gaye yaar samajh mein to aa gaya oh so mr experience is very costly teacher but there is also one economical teacher do you want to know the name of the economical teacher the name of the economical teacher is mr hearing not earrings hearing that's economical teacher so costly teacher is mr experience economical teacher is mr hearing they are during school and college days those who are intelligent students they learn by economical teacher both but those who are less intelligent they go for costly teacher yes there are extra tuitions coachings and this and that why because not so intelligent but those who are intelligent just by you reading ncert books they crack engineering it happens without much of coaching they crack all exams so those who are more intelligent they go by economical teacher and those who are not so intelligent they go by costly teacher so costly teacher is mr experience and economical teacher is mr hearing like currently you are learning from which teacher mr experience or mr hearing yes which proves that all of you are intelligent class of people because you are learning by hearing but there can be somebody who is who doesn't want to learn by hearing hai hum kyu sune why should we hear why and that's why there are people they do not listen they do not listen so will they learn or not yes they will also learn but from costly teacher mr experience yes okay now one more question to all of you whose knowledge is more the knowledge of the manufacturer or knowledge of the user who believes user raise your hand user okay you user right which is the mobile phone you use what is the brand of your mobile phone one plus wow so how many resistors how many diodes and uh, integrated circuit and programming language is used for one plus you do not know but manufacturer knows manufacturer also doesn't know then how did he assemble it so whose knowledge is more user or manufacturer manufacturer has got greater knowledge than the user now in this world where we live in are we the users of this world 
or are we the manufacturers of this world? We are users. And who is the manufacturer? God is the manufacturer and we are the user. So whose knowledge is more? Of user or of, or of manufacturer? Manufacturer. So manufacturer has placed one sticker. Has placed one sticker on this world where we live in. And that sticker is Dukhalayam Ashashwatam. One is Dukhalay. In Bhojanale, we get Bhojan. In Himale, we get Him. That means snow. In Vidyale, we get Vidya. So in Dukhale, we get Dukh. So Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, it is Dukhale. But we can argue with God, you know, this is Sukhale. We have fun. We are having great time. God, have you ever seen first day, first show? No. We have seen that. Have you gone to restaurants? Have you enjoyed so many delights, recipes? No. We did. So it is not Dukhale. It is Sukhale. So again, God can say, well, my dear, I am manufacturer. It is Dukhale. You will get duk. No, God, no. This is Sukhale. I've seen my girlfriend, she's gorgeous. I've seen my boyfriend, he's so handsome, he's got six pack. Biscuit wala, huh? boyfriend. Not family pack, boyfriend. This is Sukhale. God, and then God can say, no, my dear, I'm the manufacturer, I'm telling you. This is Dukhale. No, 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 this is Sukhale. So then God said, okay. There is another word also. A Shashwatam. Shashwat means permanent. A Shashwat means temporary. Yeah, you will be happy, but temporarily happy. Sukh will come, but will go away also. Aiga come, chala zada jayega. So A Shashwatam. So you are saying, it is Sukhale, Sukhale. I am telling you, no, Dukhale, Dukhale. You are saying, no, Sukhale, Sukhale. So, okay, I agree to you, God said. You are saying, Sukhale, right? I am keeping the spelling same. But, Sa, Chotao ki matra nahi, Bas badao ki matra. Baki spelling same. Done. Now, what is this word now? Yeah? Now this is Sukhale. Yaha sab sukhte hain. Tu bhi yaha sukhe ga hi sukhe ga. You will also dry. You will dry up man. You will. And that's why we see in discourses, more old people come. Because sukh gai ho. They dried up. Juice nikal gaya pura. Squeezed out. Now they come for a pravachan. Yes sir, why are you coming for pravachan? Well, juice squeezed out. And you know, Krishna has got all the juice. But young people, they do not come. Usually, here I can see so many young people, of course, I'm very happy to see. But usually, if you see in discourses, young people do not come. Oh my God, kya pravachan ho gara kya hai? Atma paramatma pakaj hai. So boring, man. So, but those who are old people, they come. They come and hear discourse. Ah. And youngsters, they don't come. Now, why should we go for discourse, man? You know, these oldies, they do not know how to enjoy life. We know how to enjoy life. We know that art. They do not know. Mom, Dad, you please go to temple. Dhol wal, ye wal, do that. We are shopping. We are having a good time in the market. Once you are done with this, all this ghanta vanta, dhol wal, you are done with that. Give us a missed call, we'll pick, up, pick you up. So youngsters, they say, we know the art of enjoying life. These oldies, they do not know. So after 25, 30 years, the youngsters, the young people, they become old. Inka bhi juice nikal gaya, sukha le. Now they come to temple. Now their children, you know these oldies, they do not know how to enjoy life. We know how to enjoy life. After 25 years, 
then they also become old then they come to temple now their children you know these oldies they do not know how to enjoy life usually old people why do they come to discourses because they know this world is nothing but a place to be squeezed out sukha le dried up that's why after few years few decades then people come to spirituality but nowadays i have seen a very unique kind of trend among the youngsters although in india especially youngsters are showing interest in spirituality it's a very unique trend i'm very happy to know this trend you know recently i was in one of the college so topic was does god really exist i spoke about that and then after that there was two hours of question and answer session on the top of it at that time there was 2020 match between india and south africa but youngsters they were not they did not go to watch 2020 match between india and south africa and they were sitting in a spiritual discourse does god really exist with two hours of question and answer session so that's a very unique trend nowadays we see that youngsters are coming to spirituality big time wow but few years back i would say youngsters would not show any interest in spirituality oh that's for old people you know who are who are good for nothing who have got no job to do what to do then time pass go to some discourse baba that was the ideology few years back or few decades back but now youngsters are coming big time in spirituality and that's really fabulous that's really fabulous and the kind of questions and they ask wow that's really amazing in fact many of the indians now they are coming to their natural inherent nature of spirituality it's coming up you would be glad to know in india 99.76 percent people are theist they are god believers 99.76 percent in india only 0.24 percent people are atheist that's the glory of india actually when in india if somebody logically proves that there is no god logically proves still the other person says well koi to hai there is someone hey i logically prove to you that there is no god yeah yeah you prove very nicely but you know what there is someone that's the beauty of india actually all the atheists are illogical all the atheists up until now in my past 22 years of career in spiritual life i have not met a single logical atheist all of them are radically illogical but that's the glory of india so where to seek happiness in happiness index india's rank is 119 we should be rank 1 but india's rank is 119 you know why because we are giving up our vedic culture our original culture on the name of being very cool modern 21st century guys we are giving that up you know indians whether they bleach their hair wear a torn jeans have a yo yo style they speak english without grammar still indians will remain indians but indians cannot become americans but indians are no more indians indians are stuck in between because we are giving up our culture right we are given up our culture we are stuck in between to humne wo kahawat suni hai dhobi ka kutta na ghar ka na ghat ka this the condition of indians nowadays we are we are neither on this side nor on that side so very important thing to be happy is that we should nourish ourselves to our core who has studied mass laws need hierarchy mass laws needs hierarchy in ncert book raise your hand okay anybody knows about mass laws needs hierarchy you know what okay what's that give her the mic what is mass laws needs hierarchy yeah 
Yes. Who has heard of this term? Mass laws needs hierarchy. Hello. Yes. Actually, it is a pyramid. First, it comes the food, then safety, then self-esteem. Uh, so the physical one. needs. Uh, physical yeah. needs, then uh, self-actualization. Yeah. So Social. one by one, huh? The first need is food, then safety, yes. then self-actualization, self-esteem. Like yes. This. Very good. What's the good name? Samapti Ghosh. Samapti Ghosh. Very good. So we have got physical needs, huh? Clap for her. Very good, Samapti. We are also reaching towards Samapti. So there are physical needs, on the top of it social needs, we have mental needs, we have intellectual needs, we have egoistic needs, and on the top we have spiritual need. Physical needs do we fulfill? Yes. We eat healthy, we take rest, physical needs. Social needs, hey hi, how are you doing man? Social needs are also taken care of. Uh, intellectual needs, we learn something new. That's intellectual need met. Egoistic need. Somebody praises. Somebody appreciates that you are so good. You are so awesome. You are such a nice cook. Egoistic need is also fulfilled. All the needs are getting fulfilled. One need is not fulfilled. Which need is that? Spiritual need. Spirituality is not a luxury. Spirituality is not optional, it is our need and because we do not fulfill this need, that's why people are not happy and you will see there are people who fulfill all the other needs, this need one not being fulfilled, they remain unhappy. On the other hand, if this need is fulfilled, other needs are not fulfilled to some extent, still the person is happy. In Vrindavan, I saw one beggar, torn clothes, dirty face, I was having some injury, he was begging and calling out Krishna's names. So externally speaking, he is not beautiful, he doesn't have power, he doesn't have wealth, he doesn't have influence, he doesn't have popularity, yet he is happy. On the other hand, there are people who have power, post, position, comforts, aristocracy, beauty, glamour, everything, yet they are not happy. Why? Because one need is not being fulfilled, which is spiritual need. Spirituality, bhakti is not luxury. It is our need. By being spiritual, God is not benefited. Who is benefited? We are benefited. So I'll conclude with one of my personal experience in IIM Ahmedabad as every year I go and teach management and leadership from Bhagavad Gita. So this was 2017 batch and these boys they came to me, said Prabhuji, we were studying the attributes in a leader and among the many attributes that he should have, he should be visionary, he should be uh, well planned, he should be punctual, he should be caring and this and that, one attribute was a leader should be happy. A leader should be happy. When he is happy, he gives other happiness. If he is miserable, he makes other people's lives miserable. So a leader should be happy. And they told me, now this is I am Samdabad, this is not Iskon. I am Ahmedabad. They told, Prabhuji, we found out that Lord Krishna's devotees are happiest in the world. So this is I am Ahmedabad. If this research would have been done by ISKCON devotees, then they would say, eh, ISKCON wale aur kya nikalenge? They are biased. This data is not reliable. But here are students from I, I am Ahmedabad. They said, Prabhuji, we found out that the devotees of Lord Krishna are happiest. If they get something, they said, well, we never deserved it. Thank you, Krishna. In case you do not get it, anything or something, they would say, well, I never deserved it. So that's okay. So they are most equipoised and they are happy people. So that means in case you want to be a leader, you should be a devotee of Lord Shri Krishna. Simple. As per I am Ahmedabad research, not as per me, as per I am Ahmedabad. So that's why in order to be happy, we should take care of the other needs, physical needs, social needs, mental needs, intellectual needs, 
egoistic needs they are taken care of but one need has to be given prime focus and that is spiritual need when we take care of that then we can be genuinely happy all right i'll stop here now hare krishna